Essence of an artist. Follow your dream. Lauren Ellis. An auto-bio of her art, poetry, and life. A book and documentary. An inspirational book and film. Offering helpful, fun ideas with sincere credibility. I call my work a visual symphony. Each image is its own in its own right, but together, like a symphony, creates the message. My yellow cloth. We have a connection. It came into my life and I was intrigued with it. I just love the way it floats in the air and it's, to me, it's a symbol of energy, light. It's very fluid, like dance. So it travels with me all over the world. It drapes on trees, it goes in water. It's just a pure energy. Creativity is in all of us, Lauren writes. An absolute must-read for all ages. How did this Herculean book and film project begin? Not my idea, by far. Early 2016, my mother made her transition to heaven, and I became very depressed. Then a mysterious course of events happened. It's time for your next book. People drift through one's life for a reason. I listen. She is famous for a work that is absolutely unusual. My work is complicated technically, and most people think that, that they're paintings or lithographs. It's called time passages. I coin it photographic painting. It's very difficult technically. A, a reputation for doing something that no one else, I don't believe anyone else is doing. No. It's unique. Yes. Commissions Johnson & Johnson, Temple Electric Company. I'm from Florida. Do it roll the video and you can talk okay, as we play great. the pretty pictures. As we take a look at her works. She has some great pieces there. She's a very gifted young lady. Thank you. A video portfolio, unique in 1987. Lauren nurtures the pioneer attitude, the magic she creates. Here we are in my studio in Hell's Kitchen. I got off the subway. In a diary-like format, Lauren invites you into her world to show you ways to tap into your creativity. An interactive book you can read forever. My father used to call me the sunshine girl. I was always positive and my mom would go on shoots with me. The card I made my mother on Mother's Day. You are the beauty of nature itself and as pure as the color gold. To me, you will never grow old for I love you much more than gold. People say to me, how did you come up with that idea? It comes from the heart, it comes from the soul. Sometimes things come through you and not from you. Go for what you want. Japanese proverb, we fall seven times, we get up, and we fall the eighth. If we don't try, we'll never succeed. The process is in six stages, explained in my book on page 265. Spontaneous, I believe, is the most truthful action. And I think it keeps kind of a freshness in your work when you think that way. It's always a little nerve-wracking, too. You gotta have a good night's sleep. Yes and no, right and wrong. But there's no right if there's no wrong. There's no light if there's no dark. It's all good. A mistake or a miracle? Is it a mistake or a miracle? Or just a change of direction? I get kind of into a zone, it's kind of cool. Mistakes are something that can lead you into a new direction. We all have to not be afraid to make mistakes. My finished art pieces never torn or thrown away. There are no lies. It's up to you. Sometimes I put it away and come back to it another day. Okay. I'm Bob Reed. Welcome to the Art of Living Gallery. Here's Lauren on the power of art. I try to keep the childlike in my personality. So when I do my art, it's important to be fresh. Look at something like you just saw it for the first time. When I do my photographic painting, there's a magic that happens in the dark room, and there's an energy that I call my angels come down and they do something. When I saw the space, I fell in love with it. It was amazing. I'm square, and how can I share the space? But we had a gallery. So a lot of artists got a lot of exposure and learned a lot. Lauren Ellis is one of the most generous people I've ever met, and I've met a lot of people, and I truly mean that from the bottom of my heart. But she's a giver, and the world needs a lot of healing. Everybody does, all of us do. Lauren really does help that. I'll vouch for that also. So lucky to be with all these talented artists. We're all together on this. We're all supporting each other. But Lauren supports the artist and the artist's soul. Art for Healing retired in 2022. It was a great 22 years. Lauren Ellis, uh, 
uh, founder of Art for Healing, curator of tonight's Visions of Variety event. We support the visual and performing arts. Atlantis, NYC, Florida, 1989. Plato writes, Atlantis did exist. Only footprints left? We must cherish Mother Earth. The back cover, Rescue Earth, 1993. Visit LaurenEllisArt.com to purchase this inspirational full-color art and poetry book and check out the flipping book for free. You can purchase her new book from online bookstores such as Amazon, Barnes & Noble, Goodreads, Gotham Bookstores, and more. A book and documentary.